Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today I'm bringing you something very, very special once again, courtesy of the RTR Imperium Serectum team, so thank you very much to them. I'm going to get a sneak preview of some of these version 5 units and some of their beautiful new unit textures in map for the Antigonids today, and we will do the Epirus next, so you'll get a sneak peek of some of those units later on. Now, first things first, guys, what we're going to be doing is looking at all the new unit textures and going through the roster. A bit of a roster guide as well, because I would have given you my opinion anyway, so we might as well roll it all into one. Now, one quick note, guys, if you are enjoying these videos of the new RTR Imperium Serectum updates, do check out my Sparta campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum and my Carthage campaign. They'll both be in the description below. So we're going to start with the Macedonian roster today, guys. All these units down below, please note, are AOR units predominantly, so we're not going to focus on them. We're going to focus on the main roster of the Macedonians. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. So guys, here we are on the battle map with the new Macedonian roster. Looking fantastic, eh? A little bit of a sneak preview of the Epirates that we're going to be covering next. So you can see those as well. Now, first things first, let's talk about some of the removed units. So they removed the Thracian Falksmen, the Greek Hoplites, the Siloi, the Paeonian Cavalry, the Lonkaphore, and the Tarantine Cavalry, and replaced the Ile Basilike with Antigonid Bodyguard. Now, all of these units uh, were kind of not that useful, so it's good they've streamlined down the, uh, the units and added some new units in. And we'll show you those new units as we go on. So, let's start from the beginning then, shall we? Let's start from our left-hand side, the Royal Peltasts. Let's get them moving just so we can see them stood up. There we are. Let's pause now, guys, and let's have a look at these guys. The Royal Peltas, very elite infantry unit, 42 defense, 13 charge, 18 morale, 14 melee attack. Very, very strong indeed. But look at these guys. Look at the variations in the amount of shields. Every single shield has pretty different designs on. It's absolutely stunning. Looking at them and see the helmet covering the whole of the face. The detail that's gone into this is simply astounding. Look at the little bows on the Linothorax there, guys. That's just crazy, crazy amount of detail. Individual strands on the skirts. It is... Ah, oh, it's just amazing the amount of work. And uh, as I've said before, they've made about 1,027 new unit textures, 350 new unit models, 500 Linothorax variants. So these um, upper body uh, armor scales, uh, 500 variants of that, guys. 150 new Phalangite shields, 100 new Thurios shields, and 30 new Hellenistic helmet types. So. <laughs> You can see the amount of work that's gone into this to make these guys look so good. I mean, look at the helmets. Just different helmets everywhere. This one's even got a star on. It, they are truly, truly stunning. But as I say, the Royal Peltas, fantastic unit. Very good unit indeed. So, let's move on to the Theroperoi. And I believe out of all the units, these may not have been fully updated yet. Uh, they look similar to the old ones, but again, they are the standard early game unit. You're going to get 30 morale, 35 defense, which is actually pretty good, and 12 melee attack. With one javelin, I believe, no, they've got two javelins, um, 14 missile attack on those javelins, and throw them before charging. A decent standard early game unit. They ain't going to put up a fight against the Romans, but against other Greeks, they'll do a decent enough job holding the line for you. So that's good. Um... And as I say, I'm not sure these guys have been fully updated yet, but we shall see. Maybe they have. Maybe they have. Uh, but again, they, they already look pretty stunning. So it's uh, it's good to see them here once again. Now let's move on to the Lucas Speedays, your standard phalangite unit. So slightly worse than the Chalka Speedays, which are your elite phalangite unit. Well, apart from the Agama, of course. But they are, again, let's have a look at these guys. Look at them, ready to go in the Phalanx formation, looking absolutely stunning. As you can see, all the different variants of their Linothorax again. Very different variants, loads of different variants. Um, standardized helmets, it seems, for this unit. So a bit more standardized on the helmets, but the, as you can see, there are different variations again. 
Different variations in faces. Um, very cool to see. New different shields. But as this unit goes, it's a solid Phalangite unit. Phalangite units are great, especially in defense, as long as the enemy doesn't push through them or flank them. So, as a Phalangite unit goes, 34 defense is good, 17 melee attacks good, 13 morale's a bit low, so as I say, they are the weaker Phalangite unit that you do have, but as Phalangite, Phalangite units are strong if they're used correctly, so it's a strong unit uh, nonetheless. Now on to the next guys, and I really, really like the look of these guys, as you can tell. I love purple, so I'm gonna love these guys, and they are your most elite unit, um, infantry unit that you do have, and look how beautiful they are, guys, look how stunning they are, they are fantastic to look at, absolutely fantastic to look at, look at them, oh god, feel epic, when you're in the RTR Imperium Serectum, you genuinely do kind of feel like you are there, because of the amount of unit variation, because of the sort of gritty realism, not gritty, but the realism of it, the um, the colours, everything. Look at this shield, look at the detail that has gone onto that shield. Uh, Antilonoi. I, I can't read Greek, so I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to attempt on that one. Uh, but as you can see, all the different shields, once again, the different variations of the Linothorax, it just adds so much variation and spice into the battles. But these guys, they're my favourite looking unit so far. But let's have a look at their stats as well, guys. 45 defence. Insane. Insane. With 30 defence skill, 20 melee attack, and 21 morale. Very, very, very good unit, guys. Absolutely insane stats. For a Phalangite unit. So your most elite unit. Of course you have to start with 20 less men in this unit. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Agama of the Peltas. Fantastic unit. Now we move on to the Chalka Speedes. And once again all the variations in helms and shields has come out. These guys with the bronze shields. Rather than a coloured shield like the Agama. But these are kind of your second tier of... Uh, second tier of of phalangite as you can see 15 morale so more than 13 that the lucas speedes has couple more defense as well and one more attack i believe yes one more attack so just a very decent uh, solid phalangite unit and once again looking stunning with the different helms different colors and different uh, shield designs fantastic once again now let's get on to the royal Peltas, the Assault Infantry Royal Peltas. We went through the Royal Peltas Spearmen at the start, who are very, very good. You can see 42 defense, 18 morale, 14 melee attack. These guys, less defense, 38 defense, 18 morale, and 13 melee attack. But they carry a two missiles with 16 missile attack. I'm just going to get these guys moving as well so we can actually see them properly. There we are. Stand up, boys. Stand up and be counted, boys. And look at these guys. Oh, I'm going to struggle between these and the Agama as my favorite looking units because just look at the variation of these guys. Royal Peltas, lots of purple, some blue, some red with different helms. Oh my god, fantastic. Look at the different variations and helms and different variations of shields once again. It's just crazy the amount of work that's gone into uh, into this mod, guys. And the amount of detail and love that's come with it as well. It's fantastic to see. As you can see, these guys are very, very good. Very good assault infantry unit. Fantastic. 18 morale, 38 defense, 13 melee attack. 12 charge, not brilliant. But those uh, missiles, that's what's going to do the damage before you charge. So a fantastic unit as well. Really elite unit. So, guys, let's move on to our missile troops. And we'll start with the ones that we have already seen before. So... Yuzonoi over here, standard light uh, javelin unit, so let's have a look at these boys, 21 defense, not awful, but not bad, uh, predominantly low, not much armor, but 6 shields, so they won't, won't die really quickly to missiles, 9 morale, not good, 8 melee attack, not good, but a 9 missile attack for 6 javis is not too bad, they'll do a decent enough job, and as you can see, they're... Uh, 
their look kind of matches the tier of soldier that they are. They 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 don't they don't look very wealthy or or strong, and that's because they're not. <laughs> so that fits them. The same thing with the Greek slingers over here, as you can see, hiding from the sun, trying to get out the sun. This guy doesn't care. He's he's ready to go. He's in the zone. Um, but these guys again, not a great unit. They are slingers. Um, so 140 missile range, which is okay. It's it's okay. Uh, it's not too bad. 32 uh, missiles of 7 missile attack is okay. See, the thing with missile units, guys, is however bad they are, they will still do a lot of damage if used correctly. So these guys are still... Their 3 morale, though, is just is just terrible. They, they will rout if the enemy comes near them, even if they don't touch them. Um, they will rout at the sound of the enemy's hooves. So, um, yeah, do... Uh, do try and keep these guys out of combat if possible. Seven, well, seven defense is terrible. Armor of one as well, so they will die to missiles very quickly as well, so be careful of that. Now we have the Greek archers with a new unit card. You can see all these guys have new unit cards as well, which I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned before, but I'm not 100% certain. So we have the Greek unit cards, uh, new unit cards. These Greek archers, again, as you can see, one armor and no shield, so they will die to missiles almost instantaneously. 10 missile attack though, with 30 ammo and 130 missile range is not too bad, and they will do damage. As you can see, the unit variation coming in here as well. But again, they look like they are, the, the sort of lowest tier of unit that you really have. And they look like that to match, as you can see. So let's move on to someone a little bit different. F Phoebes. F Phoebes. F F Phoebes? <laughs> F Phoebes. They are your elite archers, guys. They are a lot better than your Greek archers, as you can see. And I love the new um, the new officers. Look at these officers. They just look stunning. They look like the Agama troops with the gold on them as well, though. Look at these guys. Absolute beasts. So these guys, these Ephibes are a brand new unit, guys. Brand new elite sort of uh, archer unit. Seven morale, so a lot better than uh, the four of the Greek archers. Still not brilliant, though. But 11 me melee attack is not bad for an arch unit. In fact, it's pretty darn good. With 21 defense, 5 armor of that, and 16 defense skill is actually insane for an archer unit. But the 5 armor should mean that these guys don't die instantaneously to arrow fire. Uh, but 12 missile attack as well is fantastic. Two more than the Greek archers. That's close. That's more than your javelin unit of the Uzonoi. So, <laughs> pretty strong with 30 missiles and 140 missile range. Very, very decent archer unit now, this, guys. Very good indeed. If you can get your hands on these after your reforms, that should be amazing. These guys, they and they look so good as well with all the variation once again on the different uh, types of... Uh, Types of armor and all that sort of stuff. And different faces and all the good stuff that we see with this mod. Now, the other new unit is the uh, Akontistai, which is another javelin unit. Slightly better, I would say, than the use. Uh, no, actually, a lot worse than the Uzonoi, should I say. So these are the lower tier javelins, with the Uzonoi being the higher tier. Nine missile attack, six morale is pretty bad. Uh, melee attack of 6, 1 armor, so don't get these guys shot at. Uh, missile range of 60 and 7 Javis with 9 missile attack. So they're low tier. You want to be getting the Uzonoi as soon as you can, um, really. Like we've said, with the 6 shield and 2 armor, shouldn't die to missile fire quite so quickly. But these uh, Akontistai, again, they look like they should. They look like uh, the lowest rung of unit, and that's because... They are. So, guys, let's move on to something completely new as well. So, the new Antigonid bodyguard, again, looking stunning, looking fantastic. With these, uh, I believe, would that be a leopard skin? I'm not 100% certain, but I, I think that's a leopard skin. And the cool little uh, feather things over there on the horse's head, which kind of blocks his vision, don't you think? <laughs> Not the most practical uh, addition to the horse armor, but uh, the most cool looking, definitely. <laughs> but 
But again, you can see, guys, the amount of detail that's gone into these guys with the, the, the tiny variations. Just look at that sleeve. Look at that sleeve. And then look at that one. Tiny variations that just add depth and beauty into this mod. It's, it's, it really is astounding. And different skirts again. But these guys, again, very, very good unit. 34 defense, 57 charge, 21 morale, 16 melee attack. But that 57 charge is absolutely insane, guys. Uh, these guys are going to be smashing into the enemy. And don't worry about them dying too quickly because of that 34 defense and 15 armor. Very, very, very good unit. So, guys, let's take a look at uh, another new unit, the Heteroi. Um, these are a very good cavalry unit as well. 43 charge, guys. 27 defense, so not as much defense. Nine of which is armor, though. 18 morale and 15 melee attack. But that 43 charge for a standard unit is very good. So these are your kind of cavalry elites. And again, they look beautiful once again. Look at these large lances, guys, ready to skewer the enemy. And looking at them in a uh, wedge formation, you can see once again the amount of detail that's gone into these guys. Very, very cool. That guy doesn't have a, a cape. No! There wasn't enough cloth for you, sir! No! I think that would be the most annoying thing. If you were the only one, there's two of them without capes. If you were the two without capes, no, three! You would be like, no, I want a cape blowing in the wind while I charge. Or is that just... Stupid. I think that's I think that's quite stupid to be honest of me to say that, but oh well. Not gonna edit it out, guys. Not gonna edit it out. <laughs> right, so we say the heteroi again, a fantastic cavalry unit. Very, very decent indeed. So the Zistaphoroi, again, a decent mid-level uh, cavalry unit, heavy cavalry, and look at these guys once again fantastically looking. And you can see they're the last of the cavalry we're gonna cover with a regular formation. In the lines. The rest of these guys are all kind of mishmashed together. Um, the Heteroi, of course, in a very decent wedge formation there as well. And once again, looking fantastic, guys. But these Zistaphoroi, 25 defense, 36 charge, which is excellent. Uh, morale of 16, which is decent. Uh, 30 melee attack, not great, but it's all about that charge with these guys. Good mid tier unit, guys. Very good mid tier unit. Um, Sorry, I was going over to the Aspido Foroi, but a very good mid-tier unit. Fantastic. So, let's take a look at the new reskinned Aspido Foroi. And again, looking very nice indeed. Big lances once again. But you can see the different variations in shield and helms again. I know I'm repeating myself over and over again, but it bears reminding, it bears saying, because just the amount of work that's gone into this mod is worth repeating myself for. Definitely, 10 times over. It is fantastic. So, the Aspido Foroi, kind of, it says heavy cavalry, but they're kind of your worst heavy cavalry option. 24 defense, 24 charge, so nowhere near as good as the Heteroi or the uh, Zista Foroi. Um, 13 morale, not great. Melee attack, not amazing, but they do have 7 Javis to throw before they charge, so they're not a pure... Uh, like these guys, they're not a pure javelin missile cavalry. They still can fix, uh, they still can break um, enemy units in melee. But like I say, not the best option for melee. But that combined with the javis, they might do a decent amount of damage on the battlefield. So good, decent unit nonetheless. Now let's have a look at the Prodromoi, a missile cavalry unit. Uh, and as you can see, these guys... Again, get the look of one of the lower rungs of your cavalry because they are pretty much the lowest rung you can go. Is the Theroperoi better? Yeah, the Theroperoi cavalry is better. So only 9 morale, guys. These guys will break very easily. 12 defense, 3 armor, and no shield. So they will die to missiles very quickly. So they're very, very light cavalry. Seven, uh, uh, seven missiles with nine missile attack, which is pretty decent. They'll still do you some damage, but again, your probably lowest tier of cavalry. If you want missile cavalry, get this Theroperoi cavalry, guys. 
They have uh, the same range and the same amount of missiles and nine missile attack, but they're going to die a lot less with that six shield and three armor. Looking very nice indeed again. And again, you can tell their lack of armor is very telling, isn't it? They have Some of them have helms, but most of them are just wearing um, robes rather than any armor. So that's why they only have three armor. 13 morale, so they're going to be a lot less likely to die. Uh, 10 melee attack, 9 missile attack. Um, so a decent, decent unit. So I believe, guys, that's all the units we've covered and how they look. And uh, we've got our sneak preview of the Epirates here. And in order to uh, bring that sneak preview to you, we're going to engage in this battle. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, and you don't want to watch this battle, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And check out my Sparta campaign and my Carthaginian campaign on RTR Imperium Serectum already. And my map overview video. Um, but for everyone else, we are going to engage them in battle. Um... And uh, just have a bit of fun with these uh, new units. It's uh, just for fun. So uh, bring all the boys forward. So let's go. Uh, we'll bring all you boys forward as well. So let's play. So I'm thinking missile cav. Let's get you around there. Let's get our good boys, our good uh, cavalry into them. Who are they? So they're the Prodromoi and Therophoroi cavalry. So we've got our Theroperoi there. Make sure you're on fire at will. Oh, they're running away. So let's go for the Molossian Agama. They're a really decent cavalry unit for the Epirates now. Yes. Get rid of that Deuteroy. That's a good Phalangite unit for them. Let's engage our Phalangites into their Phalangites. Well, actually not do that. We'll walk through. It's a lot better. And let's, uh, we are on hard, by the way, guys. We are on hard. Not very hard, just hard. Oh, yes. Good. Get rid of that Epirate bodyguard. Why aren't you running away? Get away. Get away, Aspido 4. Right? Oh, can you, you can see how easily those guys break. They just got touched by the Zista 4 right? and then they, they went. Let's get into their Athema Peltasts. Uh, you get in there, you get over here, get the Greek Hoplites, kill this uh, Theroperoi cavalry. God damn, we took a bit of damage with our Heteroi there because I didn't, I didn't spot that. Now into the Molossian Agama again. So, out of all my missile units, the Ephibes, they're taking some serious damage. Oh, wait. So, who died over here? My Royal Peltas broke, really? Was not expecting that. Now kill the Progemoy. I think we can afford to be in a, a sustained combat with those boyos. Let's go. Oh, the Agama. No, so, no, the Chalka Speed is the Agama. Now halt. Chalka Speed is. God damn it. Athamian Peltas. We're taking some serious damage here from some of these troops. Now we need to get our guys in this uh, battle. To the back of the Theroperoi there. Okay, they broke my Chalka Speedes, which uh, upsets me quite a bit. Ah, God damn it. Looks like the Epirates are going to win this. I'm not expecting that. Get them. Get these Zista 4 for God's sake. You boys, let's go. Now boys out. Get them. They're winning. They're winning. Aspido 4 against us. I don't think that's going to work. No, it doesn't. Come on, I said come on, get into them. Get them. Go, you Zonoi. Get this Theroperoi. Let's get these uh, uh, Acontistai. Need to kill that general, god damn it. Let's 
Okay, we won that. That's good. Thanian Peltas. You lead the way, boy. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Okay, we got rid of them. What are they? Use Onoi. We should get a good charge off. Let's watch our charge. We're probably quite tired now, though. Come on, boys. Go. That's not the biggest charge I've ever seen. It was the slowest charge I think I've ever seen. We've killed a lot of them. Uh, hopefully we defeat them now. Get them going. Yeah, we broke them now. Good. Get the Greek archers. Now we charge into the back of the... Uh, probably the... Uh, I think those boys. Because our uh, Agama are going to take an absolute beating otherwise. Because we're up against their Agama as well. How are these guys still eager? Let's go. Let's get you out. Oh, okay. You need to come over here. Oh, we broke them. Good. Good, good, good. Get through, Cav. Let's go. Broke those boys. And the Deuteroy. They've gone. Fantastic. Into the Theroperoi now. Let's go. They find it hard to charge through routing enemies, which makes sense. Come on, kill the Theroperoi. Come on. Okay, they're just shaking. Get into the Deuteroi, make sure they never come back. Kill. Kill that Prodromoi. You guys kill them. Kill the Theroperoi Cavalry. Into the back of there. You guys go that way. Right, the uh, Royal Pelta Spearmen. You need to come and flank as well. Our cavalry's getting very tired now. You can see how slow they're going. They're still steady. They're wavering now. Let's go. Come on, get them to break. See whether they'll do it with these guys. Get them. Get them. I know we're using our missile units to charge enemies, but it, it's not going to be too much of a problem. These are Thamian Peltas. Must be unreal. What are they? 31 defense. 16 morale. Yes, they are. They're a lot. I thought they were just standard Peltas, bro. Ah, oh, we've only got our general's cavalry. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, that's their Agama. It's going to be a big problem. Uh, no, I don't want to fight the Deuteroi. I want to come around this way. Where's this cavalry? Oh, wait. We're just chasing someone. Stop chasing them. Come back. I need you. God damn it. <laughs> Go fight the Theroperoi, bro. Our Agama. Get through these Chionian Agama. They were not Phalangites. So we should have a decent, decent leg up on them. Oh, brutal battle. Much more brutal than I was expecting, honestly. We have no cavalry left. I did not use the cavalry very well. But well, we've got these guys ready to go now. They need to get around this way. Uh, you guys can go there. Who's going to win? It's very close. I should have chased away those Deuteroi and stuff. Oh, God. Close battle, boys. Close battle. But it's nice to see these guys in action. Come through. Get rid of that Deuteroi. Theroperoi. We should be beating this Theroperoi, surely. Now cavalry's here. It's good to see. Get that flipping Theroperoi cavalry. Okay, one of our guys is broken now. That's not great to see. Okay, if you're going to run, I'm absolutely happy with that. Because I can charge the enemy. Sure. 
Surely that's going to break him. Surely. Surely. How are they not broken? There we are. Fighting to the death now, though. We don't want that. Get them. Let's go. Go. Yeah, now they're broken proper. Cavalry, come here. Or get them, I guess. Okay, we've got them. We've got those, all those guys. Yeah, come on, kill them. It's just over here that we're slightly, slightly underperforming. There. Let's get that way. We've kind of got to stop these guys from coming back, which is pretty hard to do. Okay, leave them then. Come this way. Look how tired the boys are. They've been fighting for hours. Gonna get those Yuzonoi. Yeah, go that way. God, they're slow. They're as slow as the Phalangites now. Get there. Come on, Agamer. Doing a good job. Fire at these boys. Okay, you stay like that for a little bit. Fight them now. Get the back of that Yuzonoi. Let's keep going, boys. Keep going. <laughs> what a brutal battle. I was not expecting it to be this brutal. Absolutely brutal. Royal Peltas can come around. Oh, we can fight those. How do they keep getting people to come back? Jesus. You guys around this way. Turn around. Quick. Okay. Now we've got to kill this Agamet. Which is the hardest job of all. Come on, Cav. I know you're knackered. Yeah, they're just firing. Just fire. What's the deal here? Fire. How did you miss? Come on, boys. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> I don't think we lose that, you know. How did they get someone to come back on this side? Anyway, guys, let's speed this is up. Ah, fantastic. Close. Very close. Very close. Anyway, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing the brand new stunning units of the Antigonids, the Macedonians in RTR Imperium Serectum Virgin 5. Please do like, please do subscribe, and check out Sparta and Carthage RTR Imperium Serectum playthroughs by me on the channel. They'll be in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you again on the next video.